guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in with a thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you um, to my homegirl Stephanie Rodriguez. Um, so her and I sometimes chit chat on Instagram, and sometimes you know we chit chat here on YouTube. Um, but here on YouTube, she's just known as uh, Stephanie Rodriguez. But on Instagram, she is Banana Lady, and she is a gorgeous, gorgeous young lady who's so sweet. And I just found out by the way, she is applying for college right now to be a nurse. So I was like, more power to you, sister. <laughs> like I have so much respect for nurses, like the stress and the level of like, uh, the care they give people and just so much patience, uh, get it patience. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm wishing her so, so much um, good stuff for the future, but I just wanted to show off this lovely, um, cute little deck that she got me. She asked me if I have the Kawaii Tarot, and I have this app on my phone, um, but I didn't have the physical deck, and she said that she was getting one for herself, and she figured that since, you know, obviously I like things all cutesy beatsy that she would um, get me one too, and so... I don't know, like, when I was looking through the cards, I was, like, legit getting, like, misty, and I was just like, oh my gosh, and, you know, afterwards, you know, because I, I had just gotten home from the gym, I was taking a shower, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, there are so many, um, so many giving people in this community, so many sweet people, I'm surrounded by such, like, awesome, sweet, kind, loving energy, and I truly am grateful. Like, I, I'm not trying to be cliche and be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for this and that, but I'm, like, literally, like, if I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this community and this support of people in my life. Um, it's really something, you know, that I can look forward to, and, you know, if I'm having a bad day, I can fall back on you guys, and, you guys are just like uplifting and you're just really cool. And I'm not saying that everybody needs to like get me something, but just the mere fact that you guys are there, you're there to, you know, have a laugh, have a chit chat. Um, and then like, even now I'm like kind of getting emotional. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, um, I'm just really grateful. So, um, and I just told Stephanie that I would, um, do a review so well it's kind of a review actually it's it's more like a thank you <laughs> um but you know I mean I'll go through it with you guys but really it's it's a thank you so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much Stephanie you are such a sweetie <laughs> okay so um I've kind of already looked through this and so it's in this big kind of box Thing that you know opens up so I've already taken the cards out and I'm thinking I'll put them in a little bag maybe um, just so I don't have to lug this giant box around but here's the backing and everything so cool stuff cool stuff um, but you open it up and ah, uh, isn't that the cutest little presentation it's like um I'm trying to think. It's like opening a little bento box. I don't know why it's. <laughs> but here, Kawaii Tarot, a 78 card deck of magic and cute. So um, you can take this out, by the way. So this just slides right on out. And um, I loved taking a look through the book um, because I really liked what the, the creator had to say about this. Um, so she goes into like how um, how she started reading cards, like what that meant to her, and like um, how it's kind of sort of loosely based on the right away uh, system, and why she went with such uh, minimalistic images. And even though that there there's minimalism in this deck, um, that the placement of certain of the image, you know, albeit there aren't many. Um, it means something and that each of the colors means something and so I love that and she's saying you know that if you're a beginner you can obviously you know uh, reference this but um, she really wants people to more uh, focus on their intuition so like uh, what what feels right I think I just saw that somewhere in here um, but she goes through I like the whole you know the the fool's journey just briefly listed here about the major arcana so this is this is cool. So like, um, if you look up here where it says the fool, the fool is excited to go on his journey, not aware of the risks and downfalls coming to him. The magician is the fool's teacher and sparks her inquisitive nature. 
The high priestess is another teacher who implores the fool to use intuition before jumping into situations. The empress is the fool's mother figure and creator, like so on and so on. And it's just so cool. I mean, I don't care if you've been reading tarot for like 20 years. This is a unique perspective and I really like it. So, hey, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, and then here... Uh, the colors, uh, so marzipan has a color, aqua is, um, you know, uh, has, obviously it's color, <laughs> you know, has a meaning, aqua has a meaning, thistle has a meaning, blush has a meaning in the deck, um, you know, there's like some journaling prompts for the, the certain spreads here. So I can't wait to jump into that, that's cool stuff. Um, and then here we go into the more detailed descriptions. What, what each, each and every card from the major arcana to the minor arcana, what it would be, um, upright and reversed, you know, possible meanings. And, um, I really like her interpretations. It's really cool. And then I like on the back, um, final thoughts, um, you know, about, tarot cards that, you know, even though her deck is like cutesy wootsy, she thought that when she would read with it, it would give her a bunch of like really cute, like sweet readings and come to find out it was like, oh, <laughs> there's like some glaring truths and things like that. And she's saying, so it just goes to show you that no matter what a deck looks like, um, the cards are there to help your subconscious help you out, um, with your, you know, your path in this life. So I thought that was really cute. So let's go ahead and look at the cards. Um, so I've already taken the, the cards out of here. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. And here's the deck, it's so cute. So this is the backs. And I would say that these are like Lenormand size cards. It's got really nice cardstock. Kind of bendy. Um, put it in tight for you guys so you can see it's kind of got a sheen to it, but not too much. Um, yeah, and I still have them in order, but right after this video is done, I'm gonna be working with it because, <laughs> because yes. Um, so as you can see, although it's minimal, you know, the, the white rose, like new beginnings, blossoming, blooming, and then you have like the jester's hat reminiscent of the fool. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like that. And remember she was talking about the, the colors, um, them all meaning something. So the yellow means something, pink means something, green means something. Um, and then for the magician, you know, you got your infinity symbol, you got your, uh, basically magic wand here, empress, moon, intuition, like it's, it's so good. Like, can you guys see it? <laughs> it's like simple, but like you get it, you know? It's got some of the elements, you know, of the Rider Waite Smith. Chariot, the wheel, you know, you, you have um, what would be kind of the, um, the animals pulling the, the chariot going two separate ways. You have the sun, the light in the middle. It's, it's great. My favorite card in the world because this is my birth card. Justice. Bring it down that gavel. <laughs> I love the hanged man. Um, cause you know, this is like the whatever, the, the shaka for like, <laughs> uh, in, in Hawaiian, it's like, I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Just like, you know, hang ten, like, different perspective. Death, that whole scythe, cutting away, make room for the new. Tower, ah, looks like the leading tower of Pisa. Like, it's really appealing to my, my sense of, like, declutter, cute, um, but my intuition going wild. Okay, so for, for the pips, they're, like, not just pips on a card, but they're arranged in a certain fashion where it kind of remi uh, reminds you of how they look 
and the Rider Waite Smith. So you've got the hand, you know, like juggling. You know, the three, the way you would see it in the Rider Waite Smith card where it's like up on the um, archway and the person working on them. So, you know, and then you think four, like all, all of them together, like mine, like not letting go of your riches. And then here, you know, you're down low, you know, because um, you are without, you are in poverty. And then here you have the hand like giving. So I just think that's so cool. And I think maybe, um, oh, and by the way, the, the kings, the queens, and the knights, and the pages don't really follow any sort of like gender order or anything like Sometimes the kings are women, sometimes they're men. Same for the queens, same for the knights, and same for the pages, which I think is really neat. And I like the, you know, okay, so the two cups coming together. And then here you have from the two comes one. And then here you have like one kind of uh, down while three are being offered or one being offered, three are down. You know, that's just cool. And here you have, you know, a very young looking branch. Choices. That's cool beans, man. People don't be hating on this deck. This deck is cute. See, I mean, you can't even like tell like, is it a guy, is it a girl? Like who really matters? You know, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. The canes, oh yes. Urgh, fighting, urgh. That's cool. Coming down on people. Taking off. Like, it's just so, so well thought out. Simple, but you know, you had to think this stuff out. Um, but people have requested, like, when I do reviews, and like I said, this is not really like a review review because it's more like thank you Stephanie <laughs> um but they they asked if like at the end if I could do a reading like not really posing a question but just like read the three cards as I see them just so people can see how cards are read so I was like sure and back to the fool okay so I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shuffle then. Actually, you know what? I'm going to split these into three piles because it's a brand new deck, so it legit hasn't been shuffled before. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this one up, this one. Um, and I guess if you're watching this video, like, you pose your question, and I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to read them how they are, you know? <laughs> so this is like a sample reading. And so Stephanie can see, like, how I'm using her deck. Like, I'm still tripping that, you know, somebody would buy me a deck. And um, my girl Charlie that lives out in the UK, um, like, she had got me the Terror of the Zirkus Magi. And, like, that was just, woo! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, wow. You guys are all so sweet. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pull three cards. One, two, three. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna read them together. Like I said, there isn't a question. I'm just gonna put that little rock there. Okay. Um. So what do we have? Ooh. Okay, I like that there's a, a couple of fives here. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, uh, so first we have the Knight of Wands. Um, and remember, you know, there's an excellent explanation of each and every one of these cards in this guidebook. So, you know, you could always consult that. You know, if you were getting this deck, you know, I'm just saying, like, I'm glad I have this deck now. <laughs> um, so here we have the Knight of Wands, so it could represent just an energy, could represent a person. Let's just say for the sake of this reading, it represents a person. So somebody coming in, um, 
with this kind of fiery energy. I'm like looking at the hair here. It almost looks like a little bit of a, a wisp of a flame, you know, so just like, woo, coming in with all that energy. But here we have uh, the Five of Swords. So um, some sort of, you know, conflict going on, uh, resulting in um, a defeat. And then here we have more of a defeat over here with the Five of Pentacles, you know, them all laying low, uh, meaning poverty. So um, let's say this is a person. So I'm going to go ahead and read this all together. Um, so it could be... Um, someone who's just come into your life um, maybe playing some mind games with you and so every time uh, you know you want to be around this person you think this person is really cool really hot I mean look how cute he is um, but in the end like you're left feeling like defeated like you've done something wrong like like uh, everything with this person is like a fight and you're just like I just want a little bit of peace with this person um, and the best thing to do is to cut your losses here, you know, and walk away because in the end, the person is just like leaving you emotionally, physically, um, and maybe even perhaps financially drained. So this person, I don't care how hot this person is or how, you know, cute or, you know, this person may have some wonderful qualities here and there, but you know, if they're like messing with you and like trying to bring you down like nobody should be bringing you down that's not cool so you know so whatever if whoever's watching this you know if this makes sense to you then hey but this is just kind of a sample reading so you know this person coming in seems really awesome but you know in the end it, you just feel like all you guys do is fight and you just want there to be some sort of peace but it doesn't seem like you'll ever have any uh, peace with this person especially them being a couple of fives here. Um, so it's best just to cut your losses before you really um, start to feel this, you know, physically, financially. Um, it's best just to get out now. So there you go. Very cute. And so again, thank you, thank you, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> this was so cool. Um, and actually, um, speaking of Stephanie, is my other friend, Steph, who's from Belgium, uh, she's actually coming to stay with me for 10 days. So she's coming to my house and um, we're gonna we're gonna take over San Diego. So I'm hoping that when she comes, it'll be during the meetup uh, in July on the 21st and 22nd. So I got a couple of really cool Stephs in my life. I got, you know, a uh, really sweet Stephanie and I got my other sweet Steph that's over in Belgium. She's gonna be coming over and staying with me. So yeah. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to the top of my chakra or my soul star. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Or I should say thank you from the bottom of my ground star to the top of my soul star. <laughs> um, thank you for this deck and this, this was a, a, a very thoughtful gift and, um, yeah, I can't say thank you enough. Um, I'm a, send you some good vibes, you know, as you, um, apply for college and start your future in nursing. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. So I'm going to send you as, as much like good juju and good vibes as I can while you embark on that journey. So that is excellent. All right. So that's it for me, spiritual peeps, and you have an awesome sauce day and Stephanie, to you too. Have an awesome sauce day, of course. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace!